All right, hello. So today's video is an actual New Game Plus checklist of what to do before you head to New Game Plus. Anyways, let's get started. The timestamps are in the description. They might even be on the video bar by now. Also, if you choose to just look at the timestamps, which are technically a checklist, uh, please like and subscribe then. <laughs> All right, first off, number one, whatever you want to call it. Walking Maloseums. Maloseums. Maloseums? The Walking Maloseums. These things. There are only seven of them per playthrough. So it's important that you use them now. That way you can get as many boss weapons, boss gear, boss whatever. In the least amount of new game cycles without having to trade with anyone. As trading is a little scary right now due to scammers who will get you banned. Anyways. There are seven Maloseums. The first one is here in the Weeping Peninsula, right here. It'll be moving around. This one is easy. It is the Stab Its Feet. The next one is in Leonari of the Lakes. So head to East Raya Lusaria Gate. This is my preferred route as there are other ways to get this Maloseum on its knees or sitting down. Oh dang, I don't even have it sitting down in this world. And onto this tombstone. Grab a bow. Any bow. Like, doesn't matter. Damage doesn't matter on this. And just start shooting the... Shoot the shiny rocks on the walking Maloseum so it falls to its knees. Great bow would probably be the best. As you don't have to aim as high with a great bow. Short bow, of course being the worst because you'd have to aim the highest with a short bow. See, compared to short bow, I was aiming all the way up here. The next two are in the Maloseum compound. It should be fairly easy. Simply from the Church of Vows, head upwards, head north, past those areas, and then you will eventually find the Maloseum compound. It's not that hard to miss. You'll know when you're there because there will be enemies wearing the horns that I have or the other type of horn, the great horns. The next Maloseum is in the mountaintop of the giants just outside Castle Soul. If you don't know how to get to Castle Soul, oh this is lightning. <laughs> if you don't know how to get to Castle Soul from the ancient Snow Valley ruins, simply head forward. Once you get to the frozen lake, head down the frozen lake. So once you reach the Shack of the Lofty, head south. There should be a jump tower or whatever it's called, air tower <laughs> for Torrent. Make Torrent go up and ride across this bridge and then head down and you will make it into Castle Souls area. The Maliseum will be walking around here. It is another one where you simply have to stab its feet. The next Maliseum, it's a little hard to get back to, is in this region northwest of Ordinia. So Simply head over there, don't worry, it's not that bad. Do be careful though, the one here northwest of Ordinia does attack. It does fight back. <laughs> and the final, the seventh Maloseum is in the Nameless Eternal City in the Deep Root Depths. So in order to get to the Deep Root Depths, Deep Root Depths, yes, <laughs> you must head through Nokron's Eternal City go through kill all the bosses all the way to the great waterfall basin the boss of this one may be hard as it is a duo boss they are two gargoyles a sword and twin blade and then a sword and axe i believe but yeah it will be at the great waterfall basin there will be a coffin get into the coffin and you will get transported to another location Alright, so once you are at the deep root depths, oh my gosh, <laughs> that the nameless eternal city grace, follow this pathway. We will need to head upwards as the walking mallow Sam is, uh, its rock weaknesses, whatever they are, are on top. So you must find a way to get on top. So simply head down here. Run past. There will be enemies here because you know the walking Maloseum summons stuff. If you didn't know, that's what the bell is. The bell is technically summoning things. So get onto these big branches up here. And whichever one, it might be on the left side, might be on this side. Go up it. 
and then jump off and now you are on top of the walking Malosaum. Or well, when it's standing up you won't be on this top, you'll be probably right here. Or right here, where you can attack the um, weak spots. Alright, next up, number 2 is farm the hard to get armor sets. So, if you want the armor set, this armor set, the blue silver male armor, I have a video on it, please watch it. I have a video showing a much better farming location for it. It's still difficult, but it is much better than this. However, if you watch... Imagine having to farm these in New Game Plus. Like, these enemies are tanky. Okay, I miss. They are tanky, and they are doing lots and lots, oh gosh, of damage. So imagine having to farm these enemies in New Game Plus. It will be even more painful. So I recommend you do all your farming for armor sets in regular game before you go to new game. There are many beautiful armor sets that you have to farm for, like the blue silver mail, the regular gravekeeper cloak, the nox swordstress armor, the knight maiden armor. Alright, next up, number three is farm for as many runes as you can. Get to whatever level that you want to start your new game off of. New game enemies will be more difficult. If you are already at a level that you like and you don't want to keep leveling, you can also use runes to buy tons and tons of upgrade materials. These are all upgrade materials I have gotten simply through farming runes and then buying them. Next up, if you are a consumable user, make sure you stock up on all your consumables. As in New Game Plus, enemies will take a lot more to die. Next up, this one is a little bit more optional. It depends on whether or not you want duplicates of the rewards. Is do all your quest lines that are still able to be finished in regular game after you beat the game. What do I mean by this? Some quests don't actually fail the second you beat the game. Like for example, Gold Mask, when you beat the game, or well, to be more specific, once you set the Erd Tree on fire, his quest just ends. However, there are some characters like Selene. I won't go into spoilers about her questline, but Selene's quest can be done even after you beat the game. So make sure you head over to Waypoint Ruins and start her questline if you haven't started it already. Her questline is pretty nice, you even get a choice. Next, head over to all your merchants and buy out their items that you can only get from them. For example, this merchant is the only merchant who sells the Land of Reeds armor and the Beast Repellent Torch. This merchant was the only one who sold the Prophet Robe, the upper class robe, like this. Distinguished Grape Shield, the Sentry Torch. So make sure you go back and talk to them as you may or may not want them in the future, want duplicates in the future. Next up, do all the painting puzzles as some of them actually give cool stuff. Like this really cool looking bow, the harp bow. Gave you so much somber smithing stones, why are your scaling so bad? <laughs> Next up, get all the weapons that you can only get once per playthrough. Head over to NPC invaders like Eleonora at the Second Church of Marika, as she is the only character in the entire game who will drop you Eleonora's pole blade. Like the legendary ornaments, like the grafted greatsword that you must obtain from killing the misbegotten. Maria's Executioner Sword, the Sword of Night and Flame, the Dark Moon Greatsword. This is a wonderful greatsword. And it is it is a questline greatsword. However, don't worry. You can actually do Rani's questline even after you beat the game and did someone else's ending. The Devourer Scepter. This is obtained from killing Bernal in Faram Azula. The Golden Order Greatsword. This is a hidden greatsword in the secret area of rolled. Those are just to name a few as I don't even have all the legendary ornaments yet. You can complete the legendary ornaments achievement in New Game Plus. Just know that you can only get legendary ornaments once per playthrough. So if you want a duplicate, you need to either trade, which is dangerous right now, or 
head over to another new game. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're on new game cycle 3 even though you just wanted to. And that is everything. Some bonuses are, you know, go kill all the NPCs because you're a monster. I mean, you're a great person. You're just very curious. Explore difficult areas so you don't have to explore them in the future, like the consecrated snow field, the zero vision area over here, where you are also getting pelted by magical arrows that curve mid-air. You can go farm the birds over here just by the fourth church of Marika as they drop the pickled fowler, fowler foot? What are they called? Four toed fowl foot for the silver pickled fowl foot or the gold pickled fowl foot. And that is everything. Now you are ready to go to New Game Plus with zero regrets as nothing is worse than heading to New Game Plus and thinking Man, I could have grabbed that item. I could have had two of these if I just grabbed it in my first playthrough. Dang, farming these armor sets are so much more difficult, you know. So you don't have any of those regrets. You might have regrets like, why did I go to New Game Plus? But that's a whole different story. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and please remember to like and subscribe.